Welcome to this presentation on dealing with water on infields. This presentation was put together by myself, Pamela Sherritt and Matt Duncan, CSFM. During a rain event, water may collect on an infield. In an ideal situation, the water would infiltrate into the soil and gradually run off into the grass outfield. But if there are low spots or poor grades, then puddles form and games can get cancelled. We have put together these tips for dealing with water on the infield so that the surface dries out quickly and can become playable again. Firstly, if the infield is so soft and wet that you cannot walk on it, then everybody needs to stay off until it dries out somewhat. Make sure field grades are good going into the season. The infield should be laser graded every couple of years to maintain a quarter to a half inch slope to the outfield. Any less of a slope and the water won't move. Any more of a slope and the water could take soil material with it and dump it into the edges causing lip problems. Prior to the season starting and prior to each game, fill in low spots. Use infill mix that matches the existing soil mix. Add 20% soil conditioner to the infill mix and tamp it down to make sure it's firm and not going to move. Throughout the season, minimise the potential for lips to build up at the infield and grass edges. If a lip has developed, plan for it to be removed post-season. Lips can be avoided in many ways. By sweeping out the edges, by hosing them out or blowing them out, by lifting up the sod and removing material that's been built up, raking parallel to the edges and making sure that any dragging that's done is at least 1 feet or 12 inches away from the edge. If a heavy rain is forecast, keep the infill dry leading up to the rain event. Prior to a rain event, cover the pitcher's mound and home plate with a rain tarp. If puddles do form, remove the water with cups, sponges, soaker pillows or pumps. It is also possible to create a siphon with a hose pipe. Lightly rake the wet area to create ridges in the soil. This increases the surface area and allows it to dry out faster. Use a drying agent to soak up moisture. Drying agents are typically finer graded than soil conditioners, so should be removed from the infield after they have done their job. As well as the to-do list for dealing with water, there is also a do-not list. Do not brush water off the field because it will take infield mix with it and again creating lips. Do not overwork the soil or rake it too much. Do not leave drying agents on the field and never use cat litter or corn cobs on the field. This concludes the presentation on dealing with water on infields.